Hey. Please. Look here, young man. There's a time and place for everything. Oh, well, you don't understand. Is that so? Certificate of marriage. Lee and Errol Jr. to Jean Webb. Well, my mistake. Congratulations, young man. And may all your troubles be little ones. <laughs> well, how does it feel to be Mrs. Leon Earl Jr.? Oh, gee, that name sounds funny. Well, you better get used to it, for you're going to have it a long, long time. I hope. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. Well, I'm not. The only thing that worries me is your father and how we're going to tell him. If he's as belligerent as you say he is, he's liable to kick his new daughter-in-law right out on her ear. Oh, Pop's not as bad as all that. You wait here and I'll go break the good news to him. Hello, Dad. Oh, hello, Junior. I'm glad you came in. I've got something very important to tell you. Well, I've got something important to tell you, too, Dad. Oh, well, that can wait. That can wait. Now, you've always been asking me for an opportunity to do something big. I'm going to give you a chance. Here's your ticket. You leave immediately for the Mexico City office. But, Dad, won't you listen to me? I... What is it? The board members are waiting for you, Mr. Earl. I'll be right in. Now, the plane leaves at 7 o'clock tonight. I'll try and get down and see you all. Yes, but there's something I want to tell you. Oh, yes. Ashley will give you expense money. Now, uh, get a hustle on me. I'm pretty busy. Good luck, son. Okay, Dad. What did he say to you? Well, I didn't exactly get a chance to tell him, but don't you worry. I'll send him a telegram tonight before we leave town. All right. <coughs> yes? Mrs. Whitley to see you, Mr. Earl. Oh, 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 send her right in. <coughs> Hello, Norma, darling. Uh, how's my big businessman today? Wonderful, wonderful. Did you tell your son? Well, no, not exactly, but uh, it'll be all right. I hate to break it to the kid too suddenly. You know, it takes him a little time to get accustomed to a new mother. But he'll have to know sooner or later. If we get married tonight, it'll be in all the papers tomorrow. Oh, no, no, I fixed that. I'm sending him immediately to Mexico City. It'll save a lot of explaining. You, know. <laughs> you old silly. <laughs> I believe you're actually afraid to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> no, darling. Four hundred and seven, Mr. and Mrs. Clark. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, I'd like a suite. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, honey, do you mind if I go buy some postcards? I'm with the bags. I'll be right up. But don't you think we ought to see our suite first? Uh, you can come down later. Oh, well, I'll only be a minute. I promised the girls I'd send them some cards as soon as we got here. Show Mr. Earl to 309, oh. please. Yes, sir. This way, sir. You have reservations for Mr. and Mrs. Leon Arrow? Uh, yes, Mr. Arrow. Thank you. 319 for Mr. and Mrs. Earl. Yes, sir, this way, ma'am. I'm sure you're going to like the view there, Mr. Earl. It overlooks the falls. Thanks, but I don't swim. <clears throat> I beg your pardon. I'm so sorry. Peggy! Leon, you old girl! Oh. Hey, Peggy, cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out, will you? My wife's over there. Your wife? Oh, yes, yes. Not really. Yes, I, honest. I just got married and uh, oh. we're on our honeymoon. <laughs> Well, congratulations. I'm on my honeymoon, too, but it's a secret. Okay, well, congratulations. <laughs> you have nice weather for it. Hope you enjoy yourself. <clears throat> I'm awfully sorry, dear. I was held up for a minute there. I, I did. Oh. Uh, what's going on here? Who is that guy? Why, oh, honey, he's just no sweetheart of mine. Oh, that's different. You're not jealous of your little bride, are you? No, but you hadn't ought to go flirting the first day we're married. Oh, why, Nicky. Oh, Cut it out, will you? The manager might see you. If he gets wise, I'll lose my job. You know, you won't have no house detective what's got a wife. He figures married men is too broad. May I mail these cards here? Certainly. Oh, I'm afraid I've forgotten our room number. I'm Mrs. Earl. Oh, yes, Mrs. Earl. 319. Thank you. The clerk said that the rooms were facing the falls, I think. <clears throat> well, now, how do you like it, yeah? Just lovely. Yeah. What's, what's the matter? Key, sir. Oh, key, yes. Yeah, yeah of course. Thank you. That's all right. Well? Uh, 
Oh, you mean the little lady downstairs? Oh, yes, she's a, uh, she's an old client of mine. I see. Uh, yeah, well, I would have been a douche to her, but for the life of me, I couldn't remember her name. <laughs> How quaint. <laughs> yeah, I... Yeah. She seemed to remember you quite well. But then I suppose never forget a man with your charm. Oh, now, darling, you don't for a minute think that I should ever try... Oh, dear, oh, dear. <clears throat> There's a thing, too. Oh. Well, we'll find out. Well, how do you do? I say, listen oh. to. Oh. What do you. What do you. Yes. yes. What are you doing here? Yes. Oh, huh? I, I'm sorry. I, I'm afraid I've made a mistake. You bet you've made a mistake. No, my dear. I think I'm the one who made the mistake. Yes. She's. Hey, what do you mean? You. What do you mean oh, by coming. Excuse me. Not yes, but what do you mean by coming oh. and voicing in people to whom you haven't the right to do a thing like that? Do you realize. <laughs> I can't seem to locate my room. I'm Mrs. Leon Errol, Jr. Of course, Mrs. Errol. You're in 309. 309? That's right. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Hello? Let me speak to the room clerk, please. Hello, this is Mr. Earl. Have you seen my wife? Oh, yes, Mr. Earl. She was here just a moment ago. Well, thanks. to you from New York. Oh, thank you. Had to postpone Mexico City trip. Was married tonight, leaving for honeymoon. Leon Jr. Well. Any reply, sir? No, no, no. I'll take care of this one. Thank you. That's all right. Married? What a young rascal. Oh, those telegraph wires are going to hum when they hear what I got to say. Pardon me, I'm Mr. Errol. Have you seen my wife? No, sir, not lately. Oh. Here's the car. Fine. Hey, wait a minute. Hey. Oh, dear. Say, was that young Leon Errol just got in the elevator? Yes, sir. Well, who, who, who's the woman with him? That was Mrs. Errol. Did... They're newlyweds. You mean he married that woman? Oh, this is terrible. Oh, boy, what a mess. I can't wait for that. You remember me. I'm Mrs. Errol. Have you seen Mr. Errol? Yes, ma'am. I'm afraid I have. He went that way. Oh, oh thank you. I do hope you find your wife. Oh, thanks. I hope so, too. Yeah. Jean. Oh, Jean, darling. Oh, boy. Ricky! How are you, son? How are you? Well, when did you get here? Did you get my telegram? Yes, I got your telegram, all right. Well, gee, Dad, you don't have to be so sad about it. Come on, I want you to meet your new daughter-in-law. Uh, Come on. No, 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 no. Uh, not now. Some other time, some other time. Well, why? You want to meet my wife, don't you? I already know your wife. You know my wife? Listen, why didn't you come and see me before you married this girl? I could have saved you a lot of grief. Grief? Well, why? I don't understand. Uh, you will. Look, I want you to go down to the lobby and wait. And we'll have a little talk, personal and private. Well, why not come into our room and talk? Now, do as I ask you, will you? Go downstairs, and I'll be there in five minutes. Now, will you do that for me, son? Sure, Dad. That's a boy. That's fine. <clears throat> oh. Hello. How do you do? That's a nice little girl.
Now listen, Mr. No, no, I'm not talking to you. I want to talk to you. Oh, Peggy, why can you do a thing like this to me? You mean, get married? But I didn't think you'd mind. Mind? Do you realize what you've done? Do you understand what it means to me? Why, well, you old darling. Oh, I had no idea you'd take it so hard. <laughs> you've practically broken my heart. Oh, there, there, my old popsy wopsy. <laughs> Now, look, 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 call this whole thing off and I'll make it worth your while. Oh, you mean you want me to get... I mean that I'll write you out a check for $5,000 right now if you'll have your marriage annulled. Gee, that's a lot of money. Now, what do you say? Okay, Popsy. Oh, dear me. I can't be found here. Oh, no, 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 not there. No. Oh, hey, maybe we can get out this way. That door doesn't open. I'm sunk. It's okay. Okay. Right. Oh, boy, that was a tough shave. I could feel danger hovering all over me. But we're all right now. You're perfectly safe. Now, here, here's your check. Now, this is strictly between us, huh? You said it. Yeah. Now, with that amount of money, well, you can go anywhere you want to. You can go to Mexico City, or you can <gasps> go to a... Got the hiccups? Hold your breath. Have a cure in no time. Or you can go down to South America. If you like South America, you go to South America. Step. Well. Oh, just a little arthritis. The South will cure that in no time. Now, if you want to go to Bolivia, you can go to Uruguay. You can go... Oh, stop playing, will you? I want to be serious. Listen to me, man. Go to Uruguay. Or there's the art of... No, I tickle Now, if you want to go to the Argentine, or you can... I know, they're swords. I used to have them when I was a kid. Look, listen, go to Chile. There's a hot place. Do you like Chile? I... Oh. <laughs> I'd like you to meet this little... Now, I can explain everything. I'm listening. Now, now this is the truth, the absolute truth. That woman, she married my son. She's nothing but a fortune hunter. And I, well, I just bought her off. You expect me to believe that? Oh, now, darling, you don't for a minute think that I should ever try... Who is that guy you had in there? In there? But I'm out here. Wait a minute. How can you be out here? I mean, how did you get out when that door was locked from the inside? Well, of course, if you're going to start to get suspicious. Oh, but listen, Snooksy. It's no use, Mickey. I can see now we've made a mistake. I could never be happy with it. Jealous husband. But I was only kidding. I ain't jealous. Honest, I ain't. No, I've made up my mind. I'm going to get an annulment. Even though it breaks my heart. Oh, Snooksy. My little Snooksy Wooksy. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to. What's this? Hey, give me that. Mickey, that's mine. It belongs to me. You give it to me. So that's it, eh? No. Oh, why that double crosser? Where do I get my hand? Oh, Mickey, out wait! Oh, please! Oh! What? Is this Leon Earl's room? Well, yes, he's my husband, but he's not in. Oh, a married man, eh? The chiseling home wrecker. What? Trying to take my wife away from me. Why, I'll break him in two. Maybe three. I'm in the lobby, dear. I'll be right up. You don't need to come up, Mr. Errol. I'm getting out of here. Home. But but what's the matter, dear? Hello, honey, sweetheart. Hello. Hello. Oh, there you are, Junior. I'm sorry I'm late, but now we can talk. I can't talk to you now, Dad. Something's happened to my wife. She says she's leaving yes, me. Yes, that's right. She's leaving us. I mean, leaving you. You knew about this? Yes, the girl you married is nothing but a gold digger. All she wants is your money. Now, wait a minute. You can't talk about my wife oh, like that. Oh, tut, tut. Listen, I've paid her off, and she's leaving at once. What? Yes. I don't believe it. Well, Jean, dear. Well, Norma, dear. Don't, don't touch, touch me, you brute. brute. Wait a minute. Who is this young lady? This is my wife, and nobody's going to separate us. Your wife? Yes. Oh, Norma, I've made a terrible mistake. I thought it was the other woman. I didn't know you. Oh, I think I'm beginning to understand everything. Jean, dear, this is my dad. 
father. Darling. And I own you, mother. Mother! <laughs> well, now, everything's explained. Huh? Yeah. Well, so long, Gus. Hey, Riley, you're supposed to be on the job. Where do you think you're going? To Mexico City, buddy, for an annulment and a second honeymoon. Thanks to Mr. Errol. Explain that, Mr. Errol. Well, now, look, dear, I can explain the whole thing to you. Yeah. <laughs> 